Hmm. Well, didn't you see guys see the more cars score the bands? Uh, bad that movie, they had to win the engine sequel. You know, um, hey guys, me, I'm Tabs from Lane, I'm gonna be more car again, Bad Out of Lamb, the sequel to Scope in the Bands. And my brain, the true more car movie that we showed guys from the one. This movie is more car and no code young bullshit. <laughs> and uh, what's good, boys? What, what about the plot of more car again, Bad Out of Lamb? I tell you. When Sal got out, one by Bad and Tell Earth Lamb, Roy Lane turned the print and the car and went for all. This we don't one option, a final world commentary for the future of Earthworm. Win it or lose everything. Win or lose to a giant cage, Sony Blade, Wu Kang, and of course Jack Jackson, John Jackson, so like new, new phase, yep. Kick the action into the extreme! And they go head to head outward with Blood Percy Wade. The stage cannot be higher, but deep in the ne nether realm, the Moravian Shinnok is unfolding an unspeakable scheme with friend to oblivion existence as we know it. You even watching, it's going to take all. Yep, and that's the point, point of the show. Basically, it's pretty much a movie left off, and we'll continue to show when that movie left off. And that's the point of the show. Oh, I don't know. What movie? Well, guys, you will know. I love Scorpion Events. Scorpion Events is my movie that used to play the camera last year, and was bad, it was bloody, it was awesome, it was gory, it was a ton of fun, and it was great at the end of the movie. You know what I mean? And you know, looking back at the Western part with the story, you know what? Fuck it. It was, it was the first the end of the movie we got in 100 years, and I was looking forward to it. So I didn't want to see go to that movie. What's my conclusion? This movie was... Eh, it was okay. It was okay to But here's the thing. I think my main problem with the movie, it, they felt they put the city way too high with the shit on stuff. And that's when the time movie goes a big and crazy bill. But other than that, the enemy in my movie is beautiful. But the story around my main problem with it. But what, what's going to voice you have a sec? Okay, all of you did a great job. Um, Joe McHale, I think she voiced um, John Cage. She's great. Jenny McCarvey, I think voiced actually... Um, Sonny Blade, the other way. All the way to the main guy. Well, all the way to the action is bad. All the way to the main. All the way to the great. All the way to the main. All the way to the main. Boy, let's get anime. The anime is right. I didn't vote. It's bloody. It's gory. It's awesome. It feels more common. I got a brain. And holy shit. It goes to overdrive. It's awesome. That's uh, that actually meant to be a movie. If you not look at the story with cool kick ass action, you're going to get it. The action is right. bloody. It's gory. It's awesome. And. I don't mean for it does go to crazy, but it make, makes sense. It's awesome and holy shit! When you get at the like um, um Wu Kang and the kick ass, it's so awesome. I love it. Like Wu Kang, I'm a big one main character. I'm gonna be it. But we did movie in a Wu Kang movie, kind of, sort of. Yeah, there's a subplot you want to talk about. So okay, I need to talk about a bit. Apparently, we got to get stuff doing movie pretty cool and uh, pretty bad. So you have to go out there um, scrubbing. But here's the thing that really bothered me in doing. They kind of. But did he make Scorpion? Okay, I know Scorpion's sidekick, I get that. Scorpion was a sidekick, or Guy Sub Zero. But they don't have Scorpion Sub Zero competing in the tournament, which is weird. Because, why? Like, what the hell? I want you to compete in the tournament. I want you to be in the Apple tournament, more common too. But, no, they got a different plot than they do with Shinnok. And, yeah, if I, if I had to go a negative instead of Shinnok, so, I feel like Shinnok said she'd be crammed in into this movie without being at the view of Ernie. Feel they, they try to cram in too much story into one movie, and that's my main problem. They, they try to cram in the old Shinnok stuff with um this movie, and it didn't feel pretty earned. It feel pretty like right, like right, rushing, rushing into it. Ah shit! Quick, we ran out of time. What is that shit? The last minute, so we can make it in the final boss. But wait, what? I thought the big boss Shao Kahn. Why not follow the Shao Kahn story? Forget that story, bird. Before you go to Shinnok, but. No, they want to go to Shinna at the immediately and skip ahead in, in the audience in order to get to the Shinna final boss. And that's my main problem with the movie. It feels like it's kind of too much story into one movie. But here's the thing. Unlike maybe the 20 one movie we got this year, this movie had to more and more combat. And Wu Kang actually feels the hell out. It's awesome. It's bad. And if you're a Wu Kang fan, you're going to be so happy. Why? You get to kick ass. Awesome. <laughs> oh. Speaking of that, I that do get the shop. Uh -huh. Let's get the Kung Lao. Kung Lao has another favorite character of mine, and yeah, Kung Lao, I like to say, right made the reboot timeline, like more Kung Lao 9. Yeah, something bad happened to him, man. It's bloody. I mean, I literally, because, what? What the? Holy shit, I was going up, dog, I mean, fucked up in there. That freaked me out. What the hell? Uh, why, why did you, Kung Lao always get the short stand and the stick? Yeah. But, Whatever. Despite that stuff out, it's still what's good to come and get kicked out. It's awesome, but I really don't know what happened to him in this movie, but eh, what do you do? No, you do, but that. 
But other than that, all the kids are getting kicked out. You see, we're getting kicked out as well, granted. I can't make a mortar with me, I don't get more. Again, I, I'm trying to spoil it, but I need to tell you that that's the main, main problem. They try to cram in so much storage on me, and yeah, that's my main problem. I'm in the floor. I feel like it's really, they really did not going to get see those, so, though. Ah, shit. Quick, let's cram in everything into one movie and see what happens, but, but you never finish the South Con story. We didn't finish the South Con story, but why are you going to shit out? Like, I, I feel the shit, that's the main problem. The shit out stuff is, well, is my main criticism. But I think that, despite the shit out of that nonsense, it's still a fun movie. And the acting gets to kick ass, uh, and obviously all the kids get to kick ass, and the scrubbing gets to kick ass. Oh yeah, I'll be getting it, or the cyberling quiz, and I'll be getting cramming it as well, which makes sense, because that are all connected to the second, second game. And, yeah, that's probably the main part. They try to get more on 2, more on 3 story, but Sram the 1, and I, I don't like that. I don't like cramming 1 to a story the 1 movie, that's probably the main problem. But I didn't... That? That's my own criticism. Like, yeah, I can, it's still badass, it's still bloody, it's still gory, it's still bad, and who can get together, and then that. It's not even a top of movie. It's not a bad movie. Far from, I've seen worse. But, I feel like, you know, they cram way too much in this one movie. That's my main criticism with the movie the whole. I feel like they cram way too much. But other than that, it's a fun movie. I mean, check the movie out. It's way better than a turn down movie. That's a damn shit because I like turn out turn, turn, turn one movie. This movie feels like that you get more comment. I know I can pee myself, but you can't blame me because, let's face it, turn around movies, garbage! Fuck that movie! Watch this movie, it's even a fun movie, how you can check the movie out. Um, I don't know what to Music comment is fine, music is good. It's not basically an epic media, but music is fine, music is okay. Um, pacing my being is fine. Some, some parts are rushed, but other than that, overall, it's a fun movie. But I don't know what to Hmm. I think, um, I think, um, I think that's very good to sports. Alright, I'm reading. Alright, um, with all that said, what do you get more common less than Dollar the Realms? I think we're gonna be saying 3.5 out of 5 stars. A perfect? No, it is good. It, 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 it's fine. It, it, it's a good movie. It's my favorite movie that came out this year. Not really. I was going to be, be like my, my truly my favorite movie that came out this year. But you know what? It, it, it's not a good sequel. Way better, way better than all of our 21 movies because it's feel like more. There's that Wu Kang movie, and I can't wait to see after we do get another sequel. Granted, the problem is that I didn't want to wait for the go, because the way the movie ended, it feels pretty good, not anachromatic, but it feels like I don't know where they're going now, because they basically take the end of the story. Kind of. Sort of. We we don't know where, where they're going to go with, with this next movie, we do get a sequel. But if we do get a sequel, I'm hoping we're going to see Marina, because. Damn it, I want Molina. I want Molina in the, in the seagull. But we don't know what's happening. So it's okay. That way we was chance. But I need it all. It's probably hard. Oh, don't have a more about Legend Battle of the Realms. Oh, it's probably be part of a pretty long comment number. Do you have an engine movie? Do you like it to hear? I'm also looking for the people on Twitter. Who you have Scott McChown from Triple Star. Who you have a bell kind of. You know, I have a story. Play it again. I'll talk about it longer. More comment. Woo. See ya. Bye. More comment. See ya. Bye.